But first, coming up next, it is Zach Romy. He'll be taking on Spencer Cox. Let's bring out our next bouts of the evening, Zach Romy. Making his way to the cage, it is Zach Romy. Sporting a two and one record out of the Fight University. He is definitely a fan favorite here as the crowd is going behind me. Now, he has trained for over 10 years in the world of martial arts. A Taekwondo black belt, a Judo blue belt, and a BJJ purple belt. That is a very impressive set of credentials here walking into the cage. Yeah, he's definitely mixed up his training. He's, he's well trained in several areas of MMA and several areas of martial arts. I'm excited to see him fight tonight. The crowd is just going crazy for him here. He feels that he is good in all areas, not at all afraid to take that to the ground with his judo and BJJ background. Let's see how well he does and handles those takedowns. Let's bring out his opponent tonight, Spencer Cox. Coming to the cage out of brass boxing in Kansas City, Missouri, it is Spencer Cox. Now he comes to us from a family of fighters. His father was a professional boxer. But for this camp, he worked on the ground. He worked on his, basically his takedown defense. He said that that's what it's gonna take to win this fight. We're gonna see how that works as we go to our tail of the tape. Zach Romy, 20 years old, six foot tall, 175.8 pounds out of Kansas City, Kansas. Spencer Cox, 29 years old, five foot 11, 172 pounds out of Kansas City, Missouri. Again, as someone with all of those credentials, you're gonna to wanna to train to stop those big takedowns and throws. 100% too, and I mean, I'm interested to see how the wrestling of Romy is. You know, ju judo is more of a t in tight takedown type of position. Can he shoot a double leg from distance? Absolutely. Let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear to kick this one off. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening. He stands at six feet tall. He weighs in at 175.8 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, Zach Rome! His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighs in at 172 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, Spencer Cox. A lot of training from both of these fighters, over 10 years for each of them. Let's see how they handle this. Because let's face it, MMA is very different than the traditional martial arts. Yeah, absolutely. You know, th there's a big difference between training the martial arts and getting in this cage and fighting. Oh, both throwing hands coming in. Both fighters need to lower their chin a little bit. You know, that could be a byproduct of all the martial arts. Oh! Romy is getting lit up. Yeah, Cox is swinging for the fence. Took one low, but he was eating shots right on the chin. Yeah, and as I said before, both guys with their chins real high. Could be a byproduct of all the martial arts where you don't necessarily strike the face. Definitely. Nice shot to the body there out of Cox. Yeah, both fighters' hands extremely low. Romy definitely throws those quick little Taekwondo kicks. Yeah, Romy momentarily was looking a little frustrated trying to figure out Cox. Nice duck under there from Cox. Oh, oh big left hook.
Big. What a shot, ladies and gentlemen. Big left hook out of Cox. Drops Romy. Cox celebrated. Romy momentarily was out. Woke up, grabbed the leg of, Co of Cox. But referee Mike England had already jumped in to stop the fight. Look at this hit, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, right there. Gone, done. He knows it's over. But Romy recovers. So what do you think of that one, Kevin? I mean, I, I think it's a, it, things happen fast in that cage. And that was a quick judgment by referee Mike England. So Romy didn't get hurt if he was out. Just kind of an unfortunate byproduct of of you know this sport, I, I thought Romy should have been able, was able to keep going. Um, when you get dropped like that, though, as a ref, safety is first. So, just that reaction to jump in and stop the fight. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen! Let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear for our final result. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stops the contest. One minute and two seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO out of the red corner, Spencer Cox. What a fight there, ladies and gentlemen. Big hand coming out of Spencer Cox for the knockout win. You know, that was a beautiful combination out of Spencer Cox. He went with a straight right cross to the body, came upstairs with the left hook. I mean, that's a textbook. I mean, you learn that. And when you first start boxing, it's a beautiful combination, works at all levels, worked right there for the knockout for Spencer Cox. A big one, and we got more action to come right here at Shamrock FC.